Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Late Night Review. And tonight I'm talking about American Ninja 2, The Confrontation. This is a movie I've seen a lot when I was a kid. And, you know, I actually, sometimes I like it better than the first one. I actually, they're both, they both have a good pace, a fast pace. But I think part two has a little bit more of a faster pace. I do think that that fight between... Michael Dudikoff and the ninjas, along with, you know, Steve James, his, his, always his partner, his buddy, Steve James, Curtis Jackson in the movie. Steve James plays Curtis Jackson. Michael Dudikoff plays Joe Armstrong, the American ninja, and they have that fight with the ninjas on the beach. As you know, most of my videos, most of my reviews are spoiler reviews because I'm talking about movies that have been out for years or decades, movies I have nostalgia for. And uh, this is really one of my favorite movies of all time. Again, like American Ninja 1 and a lot of these movies, they're not very realistic. The fighting's not very realistic, but they're fun. They're really fun and enjoyable to me. They were inspirational to me as a kid. This movie was a movie that, in, like a lot of movies, influenced me to work out and exercise. And... Uh, those who have seen my videos a lot in the past know I, I come from a fighting family and uh, been involved in uh, boxing and martial arts most of my life, but not much formal training at all. Really almost no formal training, just learned because I come from a fighting family, did a lot of personal training, didn't really take it very serious though until I was probably in my early 20s. And this is one of those movies that inspired me to work out. Not teaching people how to fight because this movie is, doesn't have very uh, realistic fights. But it's fun and it's inspirational. It inspires me to work out and it inspired a lot of people to work out and get into fitness and then discover reality-based training in the future. But um, this this movie is fun. I like Michael Dudikoff a lot. I grew up watching him. He's been on a lot of different movies that I really enjoy and really like. Steve James, he was in Hero and the Terror with Chuck Norris. He was in Avenging Force, I believe, with uh, uh, Michael Dudikoff. And then I remember him in Delta Force, part one. I believe it was part one that he was in. Another movie I've seen a lot when I was a kid. Haven't seen that from beginning to end for a long time, but that was one of my favorite movies, Delta Force and Delta Force 2. But um, Steve James was in part one. Yeah, this movie is very, very fun. The story is, you know, pretty good, pretty good. I think it's a little bit more interesting than the story in the first one. The story in here is they're kidnapping Marines that are stationed on the island. In the movie, there's an island that they're stationed on and they get kidnapped and they get taken to a laboratory to change them into these super ninjas through science to create super ninjas that can't be beaten. And that's interesting. That's a very interesting part of this movie. I think both of them are great movies, the first and the second one. Michael Dudikoff was in a lot of movies. And um, he was, I think I forgot to mention all, almost all the movies, or at least some of the movies I had in mind that I was going to mention in the last video I did uh, on American Ninja. There was a movie review, American Ninja a movie review that I did, and I forgot to mention some of the movies that Michael Dudikoff was in that I, I grew up watching him over and over again in Platoon Leader. Seen him in Platoon Leader. I seen him in uh, All the American Ninjas, but I don't think he was in the fifth one. I never seen the fifth one. I think David Bradley did a good job as the American Ninja in three, four, and I haven't seen part five, but Michael Dudikoff, I've seen him in one, two, 
and then he came back in part four. He wasn't in part three. Like I said, I've seen him in Platoon Leader. He's in multiple other films that I've seen. Avenging Force, I believe was the name of it. And uh, Steve James was in there with him also. And then he was in Fugitive Mind with uh, Heather Langenkamp. And that was, you know, it was not very, very big at all. But I enjoyed the movie because... Michael Dudikoff and Heather Langenkamp are two of my favorites of all time. And it was fun seeing them together. But yeah, American Ninja 2, The Confrontation. Mike Stone is in here, one of the greatest martial artists of all time. He plays one of the top, the top ninja in here that Michael Dudikoff has a confrontation with towards the end of the movie. And that's really, really fun. And then also Kane Hodder has a small part. Not too small, but kind of a he, he shows up in a few scenes as a bad guy at uh, this tavern called the blind beggar i believe it's one of the places that they they're at that they kind of use to kidnap these marines and and take them to the laboratory and turn them into super ninjas but yeah kane hotter has a part in here mm, I, was, I said small it's not too small he comes back he's working for the bad guys and uh uh, Joe Armstrong, the American Ninja, played by Michael Dudikoff, has a confrontation with uh, Kane Hodder's character in here and <laughs> works him over a few times, I think. But uh, I've seen this movie a ton when I was a kid. I did not watch it from beginning to end before I did this review. But I, I'm going on memory. I remember a lot of it because I've seen it over and over and over again in my life. Fun movie, interesting, good action. Good pace in part one and this one, part two. There's a good pace in all the American Ninja movies that I'd seen, but I haven't seen the fifth one. Uh, I think this one, though, the confrontation has a little bit more of a faster pace than any of the films in this franchise that I'd seen. And I think it's a solid franchise. I never seen a bad entry into this franchise, although I never seen five. This is really a fun movie. It has good characters in here, interesting characters. There's, there's people in here, uh, characters that you've probably seen, I mean, actors who play the characters that you've probably seen in other movies, especially if you like 80s movies. And it's a, it's a roller coaster. Not slow at all. Very good pace. And Michael Dudikoff, he's athletic, has good skills very uh his reactions are sharp and he does really a good job him and steve james they're just a great team and it's it's fun it's a fun movie it's not very realistic at all it really isn't this is, should never be a training video on how to fight none of these movies really should but they're inspirational they're fun can influence people to work out and i think that uh I had a ton of fun and still do have a ton of fun whenever I get back to watching these movies. And I can't remember the last time I seen this one from beginning to end, probably a year ago, I would say, which would probably make, how many times have I seen this? So I guess it'd be 108 times now. <laughs> I don't know. Probably maybe even more than that if I count all the times I've watched it, even part of it. But yeah, I've seen this movie a lot. And I highly recommend it. It's truly, to me, one of the classics that I grew up with. I cherish it because I have a ton of nostalgia for it. I watched it. Fun movie. Have a lot of good memories associated with this movie. Used to work out and then have this on in the room when I was working out just to inspire me. You know, pretend like I'm fighting the ninjas. Love the Octagon with Chuck Norris. I used to watch that a ton along with American Ninja 1 and 2. And then when Part 3 came out, we rented that. Part 3, Blood Hunt with David Bradley. He took over for Michael Dudikoff. I forgot why he took over and why Michael Dudikoff didn't come back to do 3. He came back to do 4. He was in 4 for at least part of the movie, which was a fun movie. Good, good one. And... Uh, the guy who played Hooky, I don't know if anyone's ever seen Zulu uh, with Stanley Baker and Michael Caine, but the guy that played Hooky in there, one of the soldiers, bad boy, kind of a bad guy, but he ends up getting medals for showing bravery during that fight. But he was 
one of the main bad guys, if not the main bad guy in American Ninja 4, in part 4. And uh, that, was, that was a fun movie. But American Ninja 2, there's a good argument that American Ninja Part 2 is the best of the whole franchise, even better than the first one. Although the first one is awesome. Love the first one. This might be the best of the whole franchise. I don't know. Maybe one day I would do a ranking on it. I'm not sure. But I like this a lot. I highly recommend American Ninja Part 2, the confrontation, especially if you like 80s action movies with the fast pace that has martial arts in it. And yes, cheese, if you like that, this should be right up your alley, and I think you will like it. This has been the Late Night Review. Please like and subscribe, share this video, hype it up, get people to watch the channel if you like this content. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good night.